guys it's uh monday evening we're coming down to the wire we got to work in the evenings every day this week hopefully i can make a video every day this week until we get it done you know what smells better than a lady's perfume brand new tires it's just a good smell we got some things uh I know you guys are wanting to go trail riding and I am too, trust me. But we have to get this thing right and I ordered one more thing that we're gonna have to do. It should be here in two days. And we'll stick them in there. We should still be done by the weekend and maybe I can get a little bit of a, a test run in this weekend. I do have some plans, but maybe we can fit the Jeep in. But I ordered, the front end's gotta come up at least I'd say an inch and a quarter it's sitting down in the front just a bit see if you can tell by looking at it like this the front's got to come up a little bit so what I went ahead and did was the adjustable threaded lift blocks that go in here they adjust from an inch and a quarter to I think three and a four three and a quarter or four inches something like that I don't remember and hopefully we can make our bump stop work if not we'll figure that out but we're going to go ahead and put those in here now you know while we're at it and get the front end up a little bit and it if it's sitting at an inch and a quarter that'd be good we can leave it like that but if we ever decide to go higher with these tires like if we get out there in the woods what i'm worried about is man that wasn't cool i like to broke the camera but anyway my worries are it's not a worry i'm just making sure it's right guys so when we get out there we don't have any problems the way we got our bump stops with this big a tire we got about five inches between those two, five and a half between the bump stop and that contact per perch that we made. I don't want, we're going to level the Jeep out for one thing, but the only reason I'll go up with it anymore is if we get out here in the woods and every time I go over a bump, like you know you're traveling along and you feel that bump, 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 bump on the front bumps all the time then we're going to have to lift it up some because that will drive me nuts and same thing with the rear if the rear keeps boom 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 every time i go over something like i told y'all been building stuff for a long time and back in the day when mini trucks were big that's where i started was mini trucks and then four-wheel drives but you could lower them down before they started notching the frames and stuff we didn't know nothing about that back then you can lower it down and your frame bumps would be bumping on the axle and it would drive you insane it will me anyway but we're going to get those adjustable um lift blocks they're not blocks they're threaded inserts i forget jks i think makes them we're gonna put those in there we can bring it up level get that away and then after we go trail riding if it's bumping on them hard all the time then we're gonna have to lift it up a little bit more i mean not nothing ridiculous but you know up another four inches maybe in the long run if that turns out to be that but uh i'm sorry i put a video up uh, sunday and i took it back down because my stuff keeps getting flagged i gotta learn to word my videos differently it was a video about the four wheel part stuff saying that you know i really shouldn't have said that about them guys because they're probably upselling parts to um help people out you know the lady that came in there was wanting 35s not the 33s i got that wrong but they were probably telling her that where her stuff will run right because it was probably a brand new jk and all it was was me saying you know i was really busting her balls and you know it's they were probably just doing their job and i was being a dick that day but anyway back to the jeep uh yesterday was sunday i got the methanol put on got the injector here but we're gonna run it because I already had a hole there and I already tested it it uh definitely gonna make a difference put the pump here the tanks gonna go here up in here like this the hood will close fine right there 
I just got to make a mount over to it. The pump is here because water. So we had to get it as high as we could without it contacting the hood. I'm going to wire this in like a nitrous setup. I'm not going to do it. it. They supply a vacuum switch. So anytime the vacuum gets below, you know, like 12 inches of vacuum, which would mean part throttle, part throttle, you know, anytime that it went into a negative vacuum situation, it kicks that stuff on. I don't want that because as much as we go and stop and go and stop and go in the woods, it would burn my whole bottle up in an hour. So we're going to hook up a switch that when I go full throttle like you would a nitrous setup, when I go full throttle, the pump's going to kick on, spray the methanol in there, and when I let off the throttle, it won't come back on until I hit the throttle wide open. The vacuum switch would work pretty good for a car, but not for what we do because you're on and off the throttle all the time. You know, it'd be like sitting in, it'd be like sitting in traffic with the methanol hooked up, and you know, which I could turn it off and on, too. Yes, I could just turn the whole system off, turn the whole system on. But the least, the less switches I got inside the Jeep, to me, the better. Because when you get in a situ you get in situations out there at two in the morning and everybody's stuck and you're stuck and everybody's running around like crazy people and you're trying to get people out, I don't want to have an extra switch to accidentally turn on. I've did it many times with the torque converter switch already. I'm, you know, I, I'm probably going to un unhook that now with these tires. But if you watch the video where I was in that canal or accidentally drove off in the canal, yeah, accidentally. Um, You'll hear when I was coming up that hill with the winch, you'll hear the motor bogging like whoa, whoa, like it don't want to go. It's because I reached up there when I flipped the winch on and I flipped on the torque converter. So I could move it somewhere else, but when I get in this thing to go somewhere, it's to go right in the woods and to do that stuff. So I'm probably going to just turn that on, that system on with whatever, where it's on. And uh, when I get in it, it's going to come come on and start spraying. Me and Big Mike uh, hooked it all up yesterday. I didn't make a video on it because I wanted to get it done, basically. Um, but it was, it's basic. You just put the injector in there. It's got the... the uh, let me take you off here where I can show you. I'm trying to use the tripod because this ain't as shaky. I ain't even opened the shop up yet. I was chomping at the bit get home and make y'all a video. There's our check valve, and that breaks at 200 psi, and uh, that pump. As soon as that pump kicks on, and it this busts between 200 psi, it sprays that stuff, and it sprays a lot of it. It's not like I thought it was going to be. I thought it would be just a little mist, but no, it is like literally. We revved it up a couple times, and I just put a little bit in the bottom of it, and I revved it up two or three times. And it used that much, and I had it probably about right there. It used all that, so it's spraying a pretty good bit in there. But I'm gonna mount all the relays and stuff over here. We're gonna get all this sealed up. We got to seal all this up before we go back out in the woods and get in the mud. Anyway, we'll go do some testing. I know you guys are getting sick of the, all the work, but I've got that comment a lot. But some of y'all are just being, you know, shitheads. But some of y'all are serious, y'all tired of seeing all the work, but this is what it takes, guys. You have to do this stuff, you know, or you'll do it for nothing. You'll be you're out there, you know, in misery because your shit ain't doing like it's supposed to. Anyway, okay, I showed y'all the methanol. Pumps over there. We're going to get the spacers. Today, I think what we're going to do is I need to mount my jack. I need to make sure that's mounted. So, we're going to put it right there behind that. I think that's going to be today's project. And um, I'm going to get some supplies out and see how we're going to do this. I'm thinking a hook mount there, a hook mount there, a hook mount there. 
the jack will sit down in there and we'll make a way to either bolt it in or strap it in and then if if hmm. let me get the tripod and we will strap it up there temporarily with some electrical tape or something to see if it's going to pry against the door when it when the bar opens up i think it will but let's try that if not we'll put if it does we'll put the big end over there i'm going on a backpacking trip in the jeep this weekend i might get some video of it me and my son's going and uh it's all cording if that's what he wants me to you know if you don't want me to bring the camera and stuff because everybody ain't into this stuff like we are but if you want to if you don't mind if i bring the camera i will Take y'all the back of the Jeep and set you up. I think it'll be alright. It's about, about an inch from that door. You get, go get something with Jerry rig it up there and then try it, make sure it's gonna work right here. See if 10 mile an hour tape will hold it. That ain't 100 mile an hour tape, that's just 10. We'll see if that'll hold it. That jack's pretty heavy. I want the I want the weight down here on the spindle. Right. Go round up some metal. We'll carry on. Man, the economy has changed, man. That train comes by every hour anymore. It didn't used to do that. We're going to cut one, two, three pieces the width of that tube. You know, just make it symmetric. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. Let me go cut us some pieces and I'll be back and we'll see what that looks like. Only thing bad about these tire racks from um, down and dirty, and we're gonna do that too real quick when I got the welder out when I turn it around. So if you slide this all the way around and you don't, you know, you don't know who's doing it, like if you don't do it, you let it go, it'll swing all the way past and take your line out like that. So probably weld a stud on there while we're at it. And here I got the metal cutting. Volume alert. This is gonna be loud.
Let me see how it fits the pipe. It's a little bit off, but I can't see it back there. I didn't have it centered up just perfect. I need a more secluded yard. Y'all know the crazy cat lady? I'm the crazy YouTube guy. Everybody drives by here and is like, what's he got a camera out in the yard for? <laughs> yeah. Oh well. be normal jack fits in it good Sucks I'm about to weld that one piece on to make everything else. I'll bring y'all back when I get somewhere with it. That's the idea. All the way to be down here on the spindle. I like it. Alright, starting point. Start in the middle, that way we can manipulate it on the ends to get a level. I think I'm going to move it up about the width of that above our mark to kind of keep it off of this. It's going to be sitting on one here and one here too. I'm going to do that and I will weld it up, get it all square, and I'll bring you all back. First one anyway. We may have to put a gusset underneath that thing. Let me set y'all down somewhere. Like that without falling on me. All right, it's I think if we come off the bottom of this with a tab, 
something to hold it right there. Weld it flat to it, something for a pocket for it to sit down into. That'll probably be enough. Just something to hold the weight up off of that. And I can even notch this, right? Till it fits down in a, in a slot and then sits down flush on a mount right there because it's pretty lightweight out there. And then we'll put some rubber around this where it don't clang any clang clang. And then find a way to bolt it down. Now that we got it up here like this, we can run a bolt through here and uh, cinch it up like that with a wing nut. And just have one bolt spot right there make it still easy to get to yeah I like it let's close it up one more time the bearings are at they ain't crunchy but I got them real tight where it doesn't swing open real easy because I've had people open it for me and if you ain't got it real tight it'll go around and wrap up the side of the Jeep but we're gonna weld a stud over there while we got the welder out Which it ain't been moved in months. Like it. Like it. Most people are worried about showing their tag, but yeah, I'm all good. Everybody, most y'all know where I live anyway. Huh? Yeah, the guy that's always borrowing stuff. <laughs> he didn't like that. <laughs> he come over here five times Sunday. And the last time he come over, I said, I thought you wouldn't come over the last time you said you was over here. I like that, guys. I like the way that turned out. We'll put two gas cans. Um probably here and here and then this ropes a big rope let's go and put the rope in here see we'll probably take that one piece off we'll take that off maybe I don't really like that too much, but we're going to take this off. I actually want to build a bar, a tubing bar that comes out past whatever we put here because I that's why it's got a green hatch on it. I backed into some into Jennifer full blast. She got too close to me and I backed into her. Not looking where I was going because the spare tire was up there and I couldn't see. I'm thinking about building something back off of here eventually to protect all this stuff if I hit a tree. I'm gonna finish it up guys. Um, I'm gonna keep working on it if it gets dark. Um, I'll show y'all next time, but uh, we'll see. It might not be over yet. All right, guys, I got the other mount on it. Just went with another one of those. I want to see if I can get the jack out and on without opening this. Most times, jeeps are all up behind you, and it makes a difference. Little stuff. Jeeps up behind you or you're up close to a bunch of trees or whatever I want to be able to get it out without having to open that hopefully this will work
I'll tell him that. Put a bolt in there with a wing nut, but that's of course kind of the idea. Probably won't leave the rope like that. I'm just trying to secure it, just to ideas, you know. You never know, because you never know what you're going to end up with. But we'll bolt it on right here, and I'll put a flat piece of flat steel right there for that to sit on. Well, it's not really touching it, is it? No, it's not. Okay, that's good. Think that'll work. All right, guys, I'm gonna call it there. I get the uh, battery packs done anyway. I get the uh, adjustable deals. We'll put them on there this week. Y'all have a good one. We'll holler at y'all later, man. All right, bye. In case y'all was wondering, it didn't level it out. That's what I was hoping to. Probably can't tell on camera, but it's sitting down in the front. I have to get a tape on it and level and stuff. All right, guys, I'll holler at y'all later, man. We'll see y'all probably tomorrow. All right, bye.